everyone, Science Magazine time. Would you please take out this Science Magazine from your folder? It has a branch across the middle of this very nice green cover. And there's two animals hanging by their tails from the branch. Hmm. I wonder what this Science Magazine is going to be about. Hmm. While you are getting this out, also remembering, of course, Kindergarten Red. We have to have that out. And purple punctuation. Right. Black labeling line. Yep. And our first grade orange. Okay. We got our tools out. We've got our science magazine out. Let's figure out a little bit more about what this could be about. This is a Let's Find Out magazine, and the issue is Help Your Backyard Buddies. Oh, these two animals must be backyard buddies. Must be our backyard buddies. Oh, and I'm seeing a caption down here. It's saying baby opossums. So that caption is telling us who the animals are in this picture. They're baby opossums. Oh, and they're saying Earth Day is April 22nd. That's why I chose this magazine, because Earth Day was on Wednesday, two days ago. And we also, on Tuesday, we did a science magazine that was how to save water. And that was another important thing to think about around Earth Day and all days that we need to save water and help our backyard buddies. So let's open up our magazine and take a peek inside to see what this is going to be about. Looking at the top of our magazine, it says three ways you can help. Look at that. Our first, our kindergarten word is already in red, waiting, waiting for us. You know what to do. We need our kindergarten red. I keep getting first and kindergarten mixed up because we're already on to our first grade words. We're just ready to go. Um, through, okay, so we got you, and then the next one is can, right? You and can are our two kindergarten words in the top title. Okay, I'm going to fold my paper here so it's a little easier for me. Looking at our first text box, our first text um, our first picture that's green, it says number one here, so we know that's the first one. One, you can use less paper. You can use less paper. I'm seeing some kindergarten words in there. Kindergarten red. Hmm. Hmm. Did you also find these two kindergarten words? Oh, you know what? This is a first grade word. This word is the word use. You can use. Will you please take out your orange and underline that? I also see some purple punctuation. Now, I see the period here, the purple period here. But there's also a purple period right here, too. Would you please do your two purple periods? And then we'll take a peek down here. When you are ready to go. Okay, our text says, paper is made from trees. If you use less paper, fewer trees will be cut down. Trees are home to animals. Good to know. Okay, so I'm seeing, oh, we have some raccoons in this tree. See, that's their home right there. So, again, kindergarten red. I'm seeing lots of kindergarten words. Kindergarten, kindergarten. Kindergarten. Okay, I found 
five kindergarten words. Did you also find five kindergarten words? Is, if, you, be, two. Those are my kindergarten words. I'm seeing a first grade word in there that we know very well now. It's our ill family word. Will you please take that or your orange out and underline that ill family word? It starts with a w w sound. W ill w ill. Will that's right. That is in the third line. Will. Will. And I'm also seeing this word that we just learned about up here. The word is use. Will you underline the word use? It's in the second line of the green text. There's two more kindergarten or first grade words I want us to underline. So the word f er um f er um from do you see the word from in the first sentence of this green text box will you point to from on your paper from yeah will you underline that from it's right there from our paper is made from trees our other first grade word in this text box is the word, where is it? Let me, lost track. Oh, there it is. It's in the bottom line. It's the word are. Trees are home to animals. Are. Will you please underline the word are? Okay, now we need some purple punctuation. I'm seeing, oh, I'm seeing three purple periods and one curvy comma. Very nice. Three purple periods and one curvy comma. One, two, three, and a curvy comma. Okay, we gotta get our black out. We see there is another caption right here that's telling us these are raccoons. So this is already there, so we don't need to worry about that. But I'm thinking, looking at this text box, trees is what's popping out to me as the, the main idea of this picture. So let's underline trees with black. And then draw a labeling line to the trees, this tree that the raccoons are, this is their home that they're living in. Very nice, okay. Looking at our picture, Hmm. I'm thinking, what's another good labeling line? What are some things you're seeing in this picture that we can label? Right, there's, there's a lot of things. Yeah. Oh, I like that one. The, the word that we're going to write is the word trunk, like a tree trunk. That's the long part of the tree that holds it up. The trunk is the middle of the tree. It's what these animals, these raccoons are living in. It's the tree trunk. So let's write up here or over around here if you have some space. We're gonna write the word trunk. T, 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 er, er, right, er, uh, uh, u, t, er, uh, mm, 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 n, K. Trunk. And then labeling line also to this tree. Trunk. Okay. And if you would like to add a couple more labels right here, I've seen a couple of things that we could label, add more labels to. So go ahead and do one or two more to your picture. Okay. Looking over at our second it says two you can use less water oh wait this this is reminding me oh this is a pattern you can use 
you can use. We know these first two words are kindergarten words. And then we figured out this next word, use, is a first grade word. Okay, good to, good to know. Okay. And you can use less water. That is reminding me of our last two magazines we talked about. The first grade word, water. Okay, looking down. Okay, we need our, for our kindergarten red. There's two words. They were already in our first that we did here. You can. You can. Oh, looking ahead. I'm seeing a pattern. Okay, we have our first grade orange. There's the two words in this. The first one that we did today was the word use. And then the word that starts with a W. What word is that? Water. Nope. You can use less water. Purple punctuation. And I'm seeing those two purple punctuations again after the two and after the end of the sentence. Okay, looking at the blue text box, I'm seeing, ooh, there's a picture of an animal, looks like maybe in the water. Oh, it says we can read our caption, our picture caption. It says, crested newt, crested newt. So that must be what this animal is right here. Okay, it says that leaves more water in our rivers. Rivers are home to animals. So that's saying up here, it says you can use less water. That leaves more water in our rivers. Rivers are homes to animals. Okay, Let's see, I'm seeing a couple of kindergarten words. first one had three more the first text box had three more kindergarten words than this text box there's only two in here but I am seeing some first grade words that we've already underlined in this are you also seeing that word water that's right water and water and then we also have the first grade word that we underlined here it's the word r i'm also saying it right where did it go right there r will you underline that rivers are homes to animals there's also one more kindergarten or first grade word it's the very first word in that sentence if you look at it if you take away the first two letters, it's a, a kindergarten word. What is that word? At. And then we add a TH at the front and the sounds are th, at, th, at, that. Can you please underline that? That is a first grade word. Okay, purple punctuation. I'm seeing a couple. Purple period. Okay, now we finished our punctuation. That means it's time for labeling lines. Seeing, hmm, there's a couple of things we could label in this picture. I think the main thing for this picture is water. Water. So let's also underline water with black and point up to this green area. That's the water in this picture. Underlining water. I'm putting mine right underneath the first grade orange line. And then pointing up to the water right here. Very nice, okay. Let's add one more labeling line ourselves. Hmm, ooh, you know what? Think, since this animal is swimming in the water, 
Let's add the word swim as a labeling line. I'm going to put it right up in this area. S -s -s. We need a, what letter is first? S, -s right. W, -s -w, w, I, 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 M, M. Very nice. Four letters in the word swim, and I'm pointing right to this crested newt to show that he is swimming. And then take some time and find one more thing that you could label in this picture and go ahead and do that. Oh, and I just realized I didn't read these. It says, think, how can you use less paper? Hmm, how can you use less paper? It's a good question. Oh, and this one says, think, how can you use less water? That makes me think about our science magazine on Tuesday. We learned a lot of ways we could use less water and we wrote about it too. Okay, moving on to number three. We already saw there is some repeating words. Let's read it first. Three, you can throw away trash. You can throw away trash. Oh, kindergarten red. Kindergarten red. Just the first two letters are repeating. Our first grade word use was not in that one. You can throw away trash. Purple punctuation. Two purple periods. Okay, we're looking down at our picture. I'm gonna fold this so it's a little easier to see. Looking down at our picture here, our caption says this is a hermit crab. Hermit crab. And our text says, that keeps the earth clean. Our earth is home to animals. So you can throw away trash. That helps keep, that keeps the earth clean. Our earth is home to animals. Kindergarten red. Kindergarten red. And the first word in that sentence is also the first word that we underlined in this sentence, which is a first grade word, and that word is that. That's right. Underlining that with our orange. And I am also seeing two purple punctuation. Oh, that's a special one. Purple period and a purple exclamation point. That's right. Okay, black labeling line. The main idea of this picture and this text is the word animals. Will you please underline the word animals and draw a labeling line to our hermit crab? Underlining the word animals and drawing a labeling line to our hermit crab. Very nice. Okay, one more labeling line what we do all together. Hmm, looking at this picture, I'm seeing do ocean. We could do, this looks like a palm tree. Do shell. We could do claws. We could do sand. Ooh, I like sand. Our hermit crab is sitting on the sand in this picture. Let's do that. I'm gonna put it right in this spot right here. Let's write out the word sand for our next labeling line. We need s s right s a a s a a n n n d the last letter is a d very nice and then a labeling line to the saint once you're done with that, finding one more thing that you could label in this picture and adding that to your magazine. Oh, and this says, think, 
What else can you do with trash? Oh, what other things could you do with trash? Some, I've seen people make necklaces out of trash. I've seen people, some, there is a way to make trash into materials that you can build with and build homes out of. I've seen people make, hmm, I've seen people make wind chimes, the art that hangs outside and it clinks together when it when it's windy outside so that the pieces of it chime, they hit each other when it's windy and makes a nice noise. There's lots of things that you could do with the trash. You could also recycle it. Pick it up, throw it away. That's what it says up here. Okay, we are all done with that. On the back, looks like our class recycles. Mr. Green's class recycles. Look at the bins, count the objects, Color the graph to show how many objects are in each bin. Oh, you get to make your own bar graph. So that's the activity on the back. Okay, everyone. Thanks for listening. I will see you later.